The scandal shocked city leaders after Flagstaff police officers got naked and were sexually touched during an undercover investigation. ABC 15 investigator Zach Crenshaw was the first to report on this problematic police operation a year ago. And now he's back with how the city's creating new policies to ensure this does not happen again. After our first story aired, prosecutors dropped cases. The police chief was put on a temporary administrative leave, and the city paid for an outside review of its policies and procedures. Now they've implemented some of those recommendations. But experts we talked to believe more still needs to be done. For benefit of uh, the newly elected officials. At the last Flagstaff City Council meeting, leaders discussed human trafficking. The topic came about in a peripheral way. That way was actually our ABC 15 investigation into Flagstaff PD's 2019 massage parlor operation. How much for a massage? See, two Flagstaff vice unit officers went into at least five massage parlors each, stripped down, then allowed themselves to be sexually fondled. As soon as I got aroused, I, that's when I immediately started asking about the money and like how much. At the time, officers wrote in reports the massage parlor employees could be victims of human or sex trafficking. And you don't ask victims to give you sexual pleasure. That is not appropriate. Um, but that's not what Flagstaff PD did in this instance. Fast forward to the latest city council meeting and their presentation on Flagstaff PD's policy on human exploitation and trafficking. Many of the new guidelines and policies are a direct result of the issues with that 2019 operation, like having clear definitions of the crimes, identifying qualifications for investigators and requiring prior police chief approval and city manager notification. It also limits covert or under, un, undercover investigations where other investigative tools would not be successful. Um, so we're only using it in those cases where we must. You don't have to finish the massage. I will get you more money. They also established new rules about what undercover officers cannot engage in. Such as criminal offense to hide that he or she is a law enforcement officer, um, to disrobe during an investigation, and to engage in any type of sexual activity. The city now working with the Arizona Anti-Trafficking Network to train at least 75% of all city employees to better identify and report human trafficking. It is shocking that that is the bare minimum that one would expect. Jenna Panis is CEO of the Arizona Coalition to End Sexual and Domestic Violence. She thinks the city should be doing more, like adopting the proposed business registration ordinances that a Flagstaff nonprofit spent months working on. These ordinances have been extremely effective in, in other cities uh, in managing this issue. So what this does is that these ordinances essentially really focus on survivors and prevent future harm to them. The experts who crafted those ordinances, though, tell ABC 15 they were sent to council, the city manager, and the police chief back in February. But they've gotten radio silence since. Unless we really make it difficult for these massage businesses to open and to keep in business, and, and folks will continue to be victimized and utilized in human trafficking. Now we reached out to the city manager's office asking why this nonprofit's proposed ordinances haven't been adopted or even discussed, but they declined to comment. I'm investigator Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.